Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Where we start with an error message, of course. So, in the last episode, we extended our island quite a bit. We built this whole area. We built the Eden project and we did some maintenance like removing level crossings in the city, stuff like that. And today, as I was saying last time today, we are going to build another industry area because adding this oil industry gives us 14, 15,000, sometimes even 25,000 profit. A uh, profit which we can use desperately because we were losing a whole lot of money. But since we've built this little industry, uh, we are sort of back to breaking even. We're going up a little bit, not a whole lot. It's currently at plus 13,000, but it drops to minus 10,000 every now and again. Uh, but building this uh, little oil industry has made me realize that maybe we do need more industry. Even though there is no demand, there has never been any demand for industry. There are by now almost 34,000 people in this city. And the only places for them to work are this farm over here and this oil industry over here. Of course, we have shops and offices dotted around a little bit, but I think because I, I've placed down every single building manually, I don't zone any areas. I have only zoned, you know, Smith Park over here, Bruce Park over here, and I'm not 100% sure that was the right call. Uh, so we might change that, but everything else you see, every single skyscraper, every single house, every single apartment building in this entire map, I have placed down manually uh, with the Find It mod. So I think that confuses the demand meters a little bit. Isn't there something over here where we can see uh, how many people are employed and how many are unemployed? City statistics. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Employment percentage. Ooh, oh, no. Our employment percentage is pretty high, actually. It's at 98. All right. So maybe we don't need industry. We did add a lot of jobs. Okay. Okay. So maybe we need to do the same thing as we did the last couple of episodes. So we just need to add an industry and then start adding more citizens. So let's do that. So this is the area in which we are going to add our forestry industry. Forest industry. So we will add another highway exit over here today. Then create a road that goes along the river I think and then along that road will be most of the forest industry and then in the middle a couple of factories a couple of processing plants uh, maybe we can finally finally maybe we can connect this road up as a bridge as well so people that live here have the option to work in the university and work in the forest industry maybe we could even uh, expand the village to over here not sure about that maybe we'll see how it goes but for now we are going to start with a highway exit and forestry industry forest industry sorry so let's get to it
And here we are, our first little bit of forest industry ready to go. We're already at two stars. We're producing a whole lot of raw forest products, tons of paper, tons of plant timber, plant timber. Uh, and it's making us a nice little profit of seven and a half thousand a week, which is very nice. I don't want to make this too big too quickly like I did with the farm, although Looking at it now, the farm is probably smaller than this forestry area. But um, yeah, yeah, the forestry industry has more workers. The farm only has, I believe, a thousand jobs. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is the first little bit of our forest industry and it's looking pretty good. I created this little highway exit to uh, accommodate our forest industry. Also for a little bit of a village over here, I think. I think this village, Sheffield Heights, will expand into this over here. Next up, I think, is over here is going to be a cargo train station so that the forest products and the farm products can be uh, transported to a train station. And then via the train station, they can be exported all the way down here to our cargo harbor and export it out into the wider world. I think that's a pretty good and logical next step to do a cargo train station. If I am correct, I do have a few train stations or do I only have the default cargo terminal? Now the default cargo terminal isn't that bad. It looks pretty good. So I think I might, I might stick with that one. No need to download a ton of assets. Although we have a rural cargo station. Ooh, that thumbnail looks pretty good. Maybe I'll use this one. We'll see. So yeah, next up, cargo station. And then this will be filled in with houses. Make a nice little village uh, on this side of the river. Continuation of Sheffield Heights. Which, by the way, while we are talking about names, uh, I finally decided to name this city something else than the default Springwood that it came with. And the way I came up with the name, I'm not very good at naming things. So the way I did, I asked uh, ChatGPT, you know, OpenAI, uh, what is a good name for a City Skylines video uh, that is Dutch, English, European inspired architecture situated alongside a river and the coast. It kept throwing things like Haven at me, Hubble the Pop Haven and, you know, all different kinds of Haven names. But eventually I added in uh, what's a little fancy twist on the name and it came up with Elysian Haven. And uh, Elysian is, I believe, in Greek mythology, it's the afterlife like heaven or paradise or something like that. So it came up with the name Elysian Heaven or Elysian Haven. Haven, of course, representing the water and Elysian being it's a beautiful place and it's alongside the country and it's peaceful and has a river flowing through and stuff like that. So I don't like the suffix Haven, but what I do like is the name Elysia or Elysian. For our purpose, I think we're going to call it Elysia. Like so. So we are in the city of Elysia. And for the first time after, what, 15 episodes or something, we have a name for our series. I've been calling it season one so far because I already have plans for another city to do. Uh, I have plans for a desert city and I have plans for a snow city. But we'll see how it goes. For now, though, this city is nowhere near being completed. We have still a whole lot of things to do on multiple different places on this map. That is the name for this city going forward. If you have any naming ideas for individual areas, like we have a whole lot of regions over here, a whole lot of districts. We have the Myrtle District, Spruce Park, 
Hickory Heights, Pine Park, Emerson Heights, they all sound pretty English, so not that upset with them. Uh, we have Sheffield Heights over here, which is this entire little village. But if you have an idea for what this village should be called, for instance, or what this village should be called, which is now Sheffield Heights, or what our wood industry should be called, or what our oil industry should be called, please leave a comment down below with your naming suggestions. And yeah, maybe we'll use your suggestion and put it on a thing in the game. So excellent. Next step of the plan is our cargo station. So let's get to it.
have our train station. I added a cargo station and a normal station, although I haven't put any stops in yet. Despite that, people are still waiting, obviously, because this is an intercity station and we don't want that. Yeah, this cargo station is much busier than I expected. It's causing traffic in every direction around the station. I have made I added a roundabout over here, so traffic from the farm can reach it easily by this road. Then traffic from obviously the uh, forest industry. Yeah, thank you. Forest industry reaches it from this way. And then stuff from the city also backs up. So I already added a one-way loop to it, so traffic can only flow in one direction. But still, even with that, it is exceptionally busy. Maybe it's because I don't have enough uh, cargo stations around the city. So it isn't, it isn't awful at the moment. It's bad. I mean, look at this. Cars are queuing up for I don't know how far. Um, but it isn't backing up anything else. It isn't backing up into the city. It isn't backing up onto the highway. It isn't backing up onto this roundabout. So it's busy. There are some traffic jams, but I think for now it's good enough. Um, probably when I add more cargo stations to the train network, this will disappear. I'm thinking maybe a cargo station over here which is about the same distance away as this one from the farm. Um, and then maybe another one over here uh, when we do the ore industry on this side. It'll probably resolve itself in a future episode, but for now um, it brings our traffic down to 75% around that number. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's still acceptable, I think. Everything above 70 is acceptable. I was a little bit worried about this road here because the road connects to the highway over here. And if we follow it along, then it is one big main road and then connects to the highway up here. So I was a little bit worried that people taking the highway who need to go from over here to over here would take this as a shortcut, but they don't seem to be doing that a whole lot. At least, you know, the intersections are busy. They will always be busy. Uh, I don't think we can do anything about that. But traffic in general on this road is pretty good. This one, I think, could use some timed traffic lights. So let's add those. Let's do a... Time traffic lights, control click, and let's wait a minute to see which phase is coming from the left. Straight on, phase four, so stop. Edit number four, let's give you some more time, save it, and start again. Then I want to no lane switching, no lane switching, no lane switching, no lane switching. Excellent. Now all the cars that are going right right now probably wanted to go straight on. But now they have no choice. And uh, let's see, do any of the other directions cause traffic issues? Uh, also, no lane switching over here, please. And no lane switching over here. So let's see. Do we need to extend any other times? I think number three could use some more time. Yeah, okay, number three. Let's give you five to 12. Number two probably could use a little bit more time as well. Looks like everybody gets out in a single phase. That is excellent. So, yeah. But that helps a little bit with the traffic over there. Ah, traffic over here is getting a little bit less. There is nothing backing up here anymore. There's nothing backing up here. Just a few cars over here, nothing over here. Maybe it was just the initial surge of everybody wanting to get to the cargo station at once. And it's a beautiful cargo station, by the way. 
if we take a look at it, it's the Rural Cargo Station Revised. I'm not sure who made it. Let's see. Um, yeah, this is the name. So if you want to use it for yourself, this is how you can find it. it looks pretty good, I think, for a rural cargo station. It even has a transfer track. Uh, not a transfer track, an, an, an extra track over here, which you can connect to your rail network but doesn't go anywhere so no trains will ever go to it and the only downside of it is you don't have to zoom out very far before the render distance becomes an issue and if you zoom out a little bit more then it disappears completely but i think that's all right i can live with that i'd rather have an object that optimizes render distance than an object that uses a ton of the resources uh, for something like rendering it on this scale even though it isn't strictly necessary so next up this whole area is going to be part of sheffield heights at least what is now called sheffield heights for now maybe somebody puts in a name uh, for a different name in the future um but yeah everything from this railroad to this highway basically is going to be an extension of Sheffield Heights.
And here it is, part of our new village, or I should say our extension of our village. This is the part of Sheffield Heights that is on this side of the river. I must say it is looking pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turning out. I am trying to put in a lot of parking spaces because all the roads we've been using don't have any parking neither the small ones nor the big ones have any parking on the road added a little added a little ferry stop over here to continue our ferry network uh, that we haven't created yet but uh, we have a stop here we have a stop here um, we have a stop over here, we have a stop over here. Maybe we can do uh, a loop around the island. That would be nice with stops on both sides. Yeah, I think that would be nice. We didn't put any ferry stops on this one. We could probably add a ferry stop over here on the main island. Then over here on this side, maybe we could use, you know, over here. It's a ferry stop it's pretty close to the shopping area. And then all the way back around to here. Yeah, I think that would be a nice idea. Anyway, how is traffic in general? Traffic in general, 77%. Yeah, this road is going to be busy no matter what. And it will be busy until we add more cargo stations across the map. This is the first cargo station. So everybody wants to export something by train comes uh, to this cargo station so yeah it will be better once we add more cargo stations so for now we just have to deal with how this is going excellent so anyway um for this area yeah i added uh, plenty of these uh, square buildings i really like the look of those um we added a high school uh, a football club with two fields obviously lots of parking I've used these houses for the first time. They are very, very uh, thin. But I really like the way they look. They are Dutch uh, row houses. And the fact that they're on a slope uh, is even better. It looks pretty good, uh, if I do say so myself. I do believe that I added some trees and stuff over here. Um, my Anarchy mod. My prop anarchy mod is not working the way I want it to. It's uh, the reason uh, I keep getting these error messages that pop up every now and again is because of the prop anarchy mod that I'm using. And every now and then when I load a game, it just everything I placed with prop anarchy is it, disappeared. So if we go to oh, over here, it's still there, but um, this one, the, the uh, recycling center, is one of those examples. I put a whole lot of things down and now it's gone. Uh, let's see. Also, why isn't there anything in the middle here? I thought I filled in this space. Hmm. I have to go back and look at it. <laughs> Maybe I'm going crazy, but I, I have the feeling things are disappearing. I can't really put my hand on it. See, over here, stuff is still over the prop. And over here, no, over here, everything is gone. Only the trees alongside it are still there. Um, What else? Over here, they're still here. All the plants on the rocks are still there. I know for sure I did this. Uh, okay, let's do it again real quick. So we do this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. A few of these. Some there, some there. And then we take move it. And then we grab all the trees. Yep, put down here and we align them to terrain heights so they're not floating anymore. Yeah, I'm sure it looked like this before. Yeah, anyway, if you guys know of a better prop anarchy mod than the one I'm using, please let me know because it is getting pretty ridiculous with how it is behaving. Actually, I might have 
remove them myself when I was trying to use uh, the tree brush over here because now that I'm looking at it there are a whole lot of trees that are on the road and I remember using the tree brush and painting everything on the road with trees and then removing a whole bunch hmm not sure I'd have to look back what the footage says but yeah anyway Sheffield Heights expanded we now have 3200 people in this village which is this part and this part i'm nowhere near done we need to at least uh, fill in everything up until this main road um what i did do don't know if it was shown on the time lapse but i turned the football stadium back on which is 4000 a week and i also turned uh the aquatic center back on which is 3000 a week currently it says minus 11000 but we are making money when i turned them on i was at 2.3 or 2.4 million and we're now at 2.8 so even turning those massive buildings back on we are still making money which is a good thing all right that's going to be it for today we made plenty of progress today um extending our little village creating a forest industry i did create a little something over here which i unfortunately don't have any time for uh, to put it in this video so i'll make it an extra video uh, for my patreon if you want to check that out check the link in the description and you can see it for yourself otherwise it'll probably be on youtube in a couple of weeks anyway as a bonus video but yeah this is our progress for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.